Nobody cares why I want to do this. You can probably guess why I want to do this. I have a bunch of microphones and I want to see how they stack up. So let's get right to it. The way it's going to work is that I'm going to sing the same section of a song. Um, it's a, a song of mine that has it starts with some very quiet close-up work and then moves back into a full-throated voice and has some in-between uh, techniques. And so you can get a sense of the performance uh, with different techniques, different volumes. Uh, first, there's going to be a reference track, which is on a large diaphragm condenser. Then there's going to be eight separate microphones. Uh, they're all going to be dynamic mics. The purpose here is to look at mics that I might actually use in a live situation rather than pristine kind of studio condenser sorts of mics. So away we go. Um, the only thing I did, there's no EQ, there's no reverb. The only thing I did was to boost the gain on all the dynamic mics by 6 dB to put them in the same ballpark as the signal strength for the condenser. So let's check them out. Deem, deem, to get the way down, deem, 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 to get the way down, deem, and it's a fine, fine line that will walk sometimes between fire and a scar, but with your heart beats mine till the end of time, and I'm reaching, reaching far. Deep, deep, way down deep. Deep, deep. Way down deep. And it's a fine, fine line that we walk sometimes between fire and a scar. But with your heart beats mine till the end of time, and I'm reaching. Reaching far Deep, deep, to get way down deep Deep, deep, to get way down deep And it's a fine, fine line That we walk sometimes Between fire and a scar but with your heart beats mine till the end of time and i'm reaching reaching far deep deep to get way down deep 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 took it way down deep. And it's a fine, fine line that we walk sometimes between fire and a scar. But with your heart beats mine till the end of time. And I'm reaching, reaching far. Deep, deep, took it way down deep. Deep, deep, took it way down deep. And it's a fine, fine line that we walk sometimes between fire and a scar but with your heart beats mine till the end of time and i'm reaching reaching far deep deep to get way down deep 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 to get way down deep and it's a fine, fine line that we walk sometimes between fire and a scar. 
but with your heart beats mine till the end of time and i'm reaching reaching far deep deep to get way down deep 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 to get way down deep and it's a fine fine line that we walk sometimes between fire and a scar but with your heart beats mine till the end of time and i'm reaching reaching far deep deep to get away down deep 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 to get away down deep and it's a fine, fine line that we walk sometimes between fire and a scar. But with your heart beats mine till the end of time, and I'm reaching, reaching far deep. Deep to get way down deep. Deep, deep to get way down deep. And it's a fine, fine line that we walk sometimes between fire and a scar. But with your heart beats mine. Till the end of time, and I'm reaching, reaching far. Okay, so uh, if you weren't gonna care about my reasons for doing the shootout, I especially think you're not gonna care about my takeaways. So let me just say, if you like the song that I was uh, using to test these, that song is called Deep and it's going to be on our new forthcoming album that comes out in the next couple months called This Broken Heap. I just put up a basically final rough mix of it on SoundCloud, so if you like it and you want to listen to the whole song and see what's, what the whole thing is like, it's soundcloud.com slash codyweathers slash deep. Okay, so on to the mics. First, what I personally look for in a vocal dynamic mic for live performance is three things. Uh, I know that I'm going to use a combination of three techniques. I'm going to be right up on the mic, I'm going to be like a thumb away most of the time, and then I'm going to be like three quarters of an arm length away. And so right up on the mic, when I come in, I want there to be warmth, I want there to be clarity, and I want there to be a real intimacy such that like I can use my breath percussively. Um, at a thumb distance, I want it to be, again, very warm, very present, very clear. Uh, and then I want to retain as much of those characteristics as possible out to about, you know, a pattern, what's called a long pattern. So uh, I want the length of the pattern's bubble where I don't sound like I suddenly went into the next room to be about this long. I don't want to have to adjust that over and over to different mics. Although I will, if I'm hearing monitors, I'll, I'll just naturally figure out where the pattern is. That said, here's how I would rank those mics. Number one, I think the winner is the, the Audio-Technica ATM41HE. Number two is the Digital Reference DR160. So those are respectively mics number five and number six. I think the uh, mic number eight, the second to last mic, the uh, AKG D8000M, that was pretty much third place. Those are, that's a very close heat, those ones. Um, right behind that, in sort of a tie for fourth, or 4A, 4B, I would give the slight edge to the AKG D790, followed by, very impressive for a very cheap mic, the, the uh, digital reference DRV100. Then I think the other three, the SM48, the SM58, and the Audix i5, they're very similar. Uh, there were no bad mics 
in this shootout. There's not nothing to avoid, but there were definitely some, you know, when we take into consideration that the SM58 is considered like the industry standard, like that's what you're going to find as a house mic and a house sound. I think this shows there's a lot, at least for me, there's a lot of good choices. These are just mics I happen to have. I didn't exhaustively research this, and I happened to find several I liked better than an SM58. Takeaway number two, uh, as I alluded to in the comments, SM58 and SM48, basically identical as a vocal mic. SM58 gets used, it's versatility of mic a snare, or mic a cabinet, even mic a, an acoustic guitar in a pinch. I don't know if it can do all, I don't know if the SM48 is identical in those respects, but as a vocal mic, virtually identical, and SM48 is half the price. So I wouldn't hesitate if you're looking to like outfit a uh, sound system and you have the opportunity to get a 48 instead of a 58, get the 48. Uh, similarly, actually, maybe don't get the 48, get that digital reference DRV100. That is a nice mic. That thing is like $30 new. Sometimes it's as low as $30 new. That's a great price for a very clear, very responsive mic. That one I'd get over a 48. Uh, the Audix i5, I threw it in there because I have them in my bag all the time because that's our go-to like backup cabinet mic for a uh, guitar cab. Uh, if Gene forgets his Sennheiser E906, uh, or if we have someone on the bill who need who has a second guitar and they, they need to get mic'd, um, then we've got that and it's great. And it acted like it. It was great up close, like the way you'd put the mic right in the grill and uh, it was great. It had this really full sound, but had a very short pattern. Again, that's great for a, a cabinet mic because it helps to isolate it. But I left that bubble very quickly. And so as a vocal mic, I wouldn't choose that. But if I put it up there, I would know it's going to mostly do the job, just not be excellent. It'll be very good. Um, I think that's basically my takeaways. You know, there's some really good mics. That DRV100, I can't say enough about that as like a budget mic, so I guess. Um, and then the ATM41 HE, you know, I hope you can find one of those used. I don't know if they even make them anymore. I've had that since the 90s. Same with the DR160. This is a stupid shootout. I'm reviewing mics you probably can't buy. Uh, and that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, that's enough for me. I hope you liked uh, this stupid shootout of mine, and I hope you liked the song I was singing. I hope that uh, having heard it ten times in a row, you're now just hypnotically a huge fan of mine. So, till the next time, uh, thanks for sticking around to the end, Mom.